All right, today we have a 2023 Supreme S220 sitting in frost white all around. Trailer, tower, exterior of the boat, all in white. Just a nice clean color scheme. Simple, easy to maintain, and looks really good. 220 comes in at 22 feet on the dot. This is one of the newer models from Supreme. It's an awesome performer all around for wakeboarding, surfing. It's extremely easy to set up. Throws a really fun wakeboard wake if you care about that. But a super customizable surf wave. With a lot of space to spread out on the interior. And all the ballast right out of the factory um, with 4,400 pounds total. Uh, it's sitting on a Boatmate trailer. Tandem axle with uh, brushed wheels, five spoke brushed wheels. We did window tent up front, option on docking lights. Kind of have that chopped windshield on the uh, Supremes as well. Swing tongue on the trailer. Up top on the tower, we have a so long bimini and a pair of Roswell bombshell 2.0 board racks that are in the, um, it's the aluminum finish. Also have a pair of Rev 10 tower speakers as part of the Champ audio package on the boat. We've got our Billet Supreme touch there on the base of the tower. And our Chromex is in, it's kind of the chrome finish on the outside. So that kind of silver look, just classic chrome kind of blocked by the guide poles right now, but. Love how this one turned out, looks great. We do have matching gator step on the trailer in driftwood over silver cloud. See that on the platform. Looks really nice with the scheme. Let's hop inside check out the interior oh before i do real quick does have silent stinger plate and quick surf option on obviously let that silent stinger makes for a nice quiet ride and a more pleasant surf session for whoever's behind the boat onto the interior our scheme is mocha main and then everything else, uh, the accent and the piping, as well as the stitching, are in just white. Uh, your textured vinyl here, outside of the box texture. Get a look at that if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. So you have a decent amount of that through the interior and these big, bigger panels and the seat boxing. And then again, that driftwood uh, gator step through the interior, which looks pretty nice I'm, I'm a fan on the back of the boat transom opens up you have some storage back here can double as a cooler because there are drains on both sides with a step leading up to the sun pad nice big uh, hangout area big sun pad on all of our Supremes does have the uh, pop-up ski pylon option on you also have uh, gunnel traction all the way around. So when you walk into the boat, you're not slipping and falling. Let's open up our rear compartment here, as well as the engine hatch. It's one of our ballast bags, the fat sacks. You have those on either side of the engine. There we go. Sneak peek at here. Uh, six liter engine, 409 horsepower, Crusader. Paired with the heavy duty prop, does a great job in the 220. Handles the massive ballast capacity really, really well. Pretty efficient haul when you're driving the boat, just cruising around, uh, planes quickly, 
rides nice on, on choppy water. And with that silent stinger, it's nice and quiet. Quick look at the tower. It's a nice peek at the uh, Roswell board racks. The new liners on these are sweet. They're kind of padded and they're rubber, so they're going to hold up better than the foam ones. And then you have uh, these little hangers on the bottom, you know, hang your life jacket on there to dry or whatever. Got a couple of those and it drips outside of the boat. Just make sure you secure them if you're driving around. Champ audio package, you got the white uh, eight inch speakers from wet sounds through the interior. There's also a 12 inch sub, uh, six speakers total through the interior. And then you've got the two up top on the tower. We open up our storage. Let's have nice deep storage. It runs all the way towards the back there. No carpet, so nothing's going to hold any water. The seats do have the pens on them, so they're not just the loose seat cushions. And then our rear seat is on the track, as you can see. So that slides um, all the way back, and you've got the... Uh, Optional lean backs that you could get for the boat as well, but just more storage down the side a bunch of cup holders as you can see um, We'll open up the OB and hit the uh, battery here real fast Peek in there nice big storage compartment. It's kind of dark, but the life jackets out of the way I've got the cover in there as you can see way up in the bow Just a really spacious compartment for all your gear and then your batteries kind of sit under the love seat right here. So batteries aren't eating up any of your storage space underneath. Glove box has this nice Supreme Gator step on it to match. Our uh, glove box has the owner's manuals in it, but there's a couple charging ports in there. We do have the air dam that slides in the walk through to the bow. And then we have the heater which has an outlet here that's on a hose. This outlet on the dash opens up, hits the driver, and we have another vent down here behind the driver. Let's kick on the power real fast. There we go. All that powers up. Check out the clamping phone charger here on the left side. Steering wheel kind of has a rubber finish and grip on it, which is nice. Classic analog gauges or uh, switches over here on the side for your docking lights, nav lights, interior lights, your heater, your that come on, blower bilge, all that fun stuff. Got our nice billet key down here, the horn. Up top on our screen, home screen, kind of see your vitals, set your cruise control speed for zero off. Um, we have our surf system controls here, ballast controls, so you can see there's a... Uh, seven different, well, technically six different ballast locations. Uh, the bag in the front is connected from side to side. And then, don't believe we have the lake maps on here, but it's an option. You can do your stereo through here, and most importantly, the rider presets. So this is gonna make setting up the boat, um, making a repeatable wave every time you go out really easy. Dial your wave in, set, the, uh, or save the setting in the boat and you'll be good to go. Activate that every time you go out. We have a PTM mirror up top and then moving up into the bow. Nice spacious front end here on the 220 because it has kind of that flatter rolled front end similar to uh, the RI series um, from Centurion and just in its looks. But uh, wraparound seating up here, a couple cup holders on either side. Um, this does flip open here in the very, very front, so you can toss a small anchor in there if you'd like. And you got ballast underneath that. So the majority of your storage is going to be in our main seating area, under the love seat, and then you can actually store, uh, skim boards actually work really well to store over the top of the engine. Um, so that's been, uh, been nice to have since these boats are so deep and there's room above the engine. So, kind of wraps up our 220s. Really nice features. Awesome performer. 
If you want some more info or would like to get out on a Supreme at any point in time, hit us up here at N3 Boatworks. Our phone number is 317-845-9253. You can call or text us anytime. Thanks for watching.